Okay. Good to go. So, science, math, nature, and technology. Uh, currently, we've got one, two, three, four, five people above the 20 mark. After which, English scientist is the SI unit of electrical capacity. Michael. Faraday. Faraday. Good answer. What is the nationality of astronaut Wubo Ockels, the former European triathlon champion, Gregor Stam, and Nick Clegg's second rose? Spanish. No. Preston. I was just wondering you what. No. Michael? Uh, French. Uh, Lekop? Portuguese. Chris? Austrian. Brent? Belgian. Debs? Brazilian? No. Nope. Yeah, I finished it. Yeah, finished. Hey, sorry, Clive, thanks. Dutch. Dutch is a great player. Yeah, well, not in the not. Good as well. What name applies to the mechanism that suspends and lowers a, ship, a ship's lifeboat? Davids. Davids is correct. That's a nice cementing of your place there. Father and son, William and Lawrence Bragg, Max, sorry, Clive. Nobel Prize for Yes, uh, I don't know. Clive was going to be followed by, uh, yeah, Max Planck and Werner Heisenberg. Uh, protection of what is enshrined in the 1886 Bern Convention? Chris. Human rights? No. Rex? Prisoner of war. Not prisoner of war. Michael? Wales. Wales? Yeah. No. What, the country and the island? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, it's a... Steve Rhodes. Children? No. Lake up. Sovereignty? No. Definitely. Prisoners? No. It's definitely one we should all know as quiz people. It's artistic copyright. Oh, alright. What's copyright? Yeah, it's definitely... Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the model number of Boeing's first wide-body twin jet? that made its maiden flight on September 1981, two of which were flown into the World Trade Center. Bren. 737. Nope. Rhodes. 747. Lake up. 757. Chris. 777. Nope. Michael. 767. 767. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave from? I don't know. Uh, 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 you've got that. You've got that, Michael. Things could be worse for you. Things could be worse. What is defined as the fluid system in which liquid droplets are dispersed in a liquid, such as in milk, mayonnaise, and some paints? It's Chris. Emulsion. Emulsion is the correct answer. Every one of these going in now is absolutely critical. 30 points for you, Chris. Next one. <clears throat> Though forms have been used throughout human history, the mass production of what was made possible when German chemist Justus von Liebig in 1835 created the process that involved the deposition of a thin layer of metallic silver onto glass. Then, Photographer? I'm afraid not. Matt Preston? Oh, it's a foil. Oh, no, Matt Laycock. Mirrors. Mirrors is correct. Two points for Matt Laycock. Name the symbol placed before keywords in tweets. Matt Laycock by a tenth of a second. Hashtag or octothorpe. Is that where you come from? No. It sounds like a place in the do it? Octothorpe, but... The proper name for it is an octothorpe. Well, well you, you, you should know learn something new. I don't do quizzes, I'll give them all the time. Excellent. It's this. <coughs> Volpez Volpez. Chris. Wolf. No. Preston. Fox. Yes. Chris. Oh. What group of dinosaurs that includes Brachiosaurus? Sam? Sauropod. Sauropod is absolutely oh, right. Do you want me to finish that? That means lizard foot anyway. So I really should finish these questions for the people who are watching at home. And if you're watching this at home ever, uh, get a life. <laughs> Name the prominent gap between Sa <laughs> Sam and Sam. No, minus one. Uh, Margaret. Dorian Gap. I 
can see where you're coming from, but no, it's not the Darien, Darien even, uh, Gap. Uh, Rhodes, Steve Rhodes. Cassini Division. Yeah. The Cassini well, Division is a good actor, Steve. Well done. 22 points for you. Steve, you're not yeah. completely out of it yet, are you? Next one. What is the standard SI prefix for 100? Chris. Cent. C-N-C. No. Uh, Michael. Hector. Hector is correct. Well, I'm saying, uh, yeah, absolutely good answer. I can see that, you know, you've got the other way, Chris, on that one. That's a good answer. Michael. 12 points to you. I think we need to be frightened when people are on 40 and he's on 38. Next one. What element's atomic number would be the result of multiplying the atomic number of helium with the atomic number of lithium? Chris. Lithium. <coughs> no. Michael. Uh, carbon. Yeah, <laughs> all wrong. Believed to have died as a result of neglect, locked out of its sheltered sleeping quarters, the last known survivor of what species died on the 7th of September, 1936? Bren. Sanity. Yes. Or oh, Tasmanian tiger. Uh, that's a great answer, Bren. A couple of other people were in there. Steve Rhodes and uh, Matt Preston. Were you going to say die the scene? No. I was a Tasmanian devil, actually. Bailed out against Steve, you see, by the Matt Snacker. What mineral? is made up, sorry, what mineral is made up of a continuous framework of silicon, oxygen, tetrahedra, and, after feldspar, is the second most abundant mineral in the Earth's continent. <laughs> I'm not finished, Mark, so I will thank you if you're wrong. No, wait, Mark, Mark first. Mark. Mark, wake up first. Quartz. <laughs> Good to see you right, because a lot of people are yeah. pressing on that one. I'll go through that, I'm sure. Mark, you. How many legs does a crane fly have? Chris. Six. It's correct. In 1950, Margaret, who founded the French Oceanographic Campaign? My goodness, a lot of pressure, Mark Lake up. Yeah, a lot of pressure, but a lot of pressure is a short answer. Take no prisoners whatsoever. 45! Over how many days did the Donna Griffiths from Worcestershire uh, suffer the longest recorded attack of sneezing? In what year did Ethelred the Unreddit exceed the throne? And what is six times 163? Chris. Times up. Michael. 1012. Times up. Michael, Margaret. 969. Nope. Mark Preston. 872. Steve Rose. 978. 978 is a good answer. Did you get that via the medium of maths? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but doing it at your end is not always. Yeah. Okay. Uh, point to your ulna. Chris. That's the one. I hope that's filming. The <laughs> uh, forearm. Uh, it's a little spell. He was it's actually pointing to his radius. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. <laughs> that's the radius, right, that's, that's the owner. If May the 1st is a Saturday, how many other months in the same year might also start on a Saturday? Chris? Three. Debs? Four. Lakeup? Six. Rose? Five. Michael? One. No, Preston? Seven. Sam? Five. No. <coughs> Margaret? Two. No. <laughs> Elliot? No. Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Just press Elliot. Uh, no. Uh, so, Elliot, I'm so happy to give you that. How many countries lie on the equator? How many E's are there in Scrabble? And what number on the Beaufort scale is given to a hurricane? Chris and Michael, could you whisper answers into your friend's ears, please? Yeah. You want the numbers? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, Chris and Michael, so yeah. go on, tell us. Twelve. Yeah? Yes, twelve. Twelve, okay. So one point each, uh, one point for Michael, and one point for Chris. Put Chris on 34, Michael on 15. Lots of people pressing there. 
What does what does an orphan page not have on the World Wide Web? Hey, uh, Chris. Uh, HTML address. Uh, www. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give you that. HTML address is a hyperlink. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you can have two points on that. Uh, reluctant two points, but nevertheless, I'm, my hand is forced on that one. Hyperlinks. Just, oh, exactly. Express five eight. Chris. Sixty-two point five. Nope. Margaret, I've not, I've not finished the question yet, by the way. 0. 0.625. 0. 0.625. Oh, 62.5. Oh, 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 dear. Uh, the fortune favours the brave, as I say. Margaret, you get two points there. Did you actually work that one out? Or did you just no, I like just it. Stole it. it. Chris, mine is one point. Got my lucky number, 35. Next one. Can't be interested with that. Banaquits, boxes, bobolinks, and bulbuls belong. Uh, Margaret. Birds. Birds is correct. <laughs> That's what you call a roll, Margaret. Three points in a row. Four points in a row. Which meteor shower generally happens? Lake up. Yeah, around August the 12th every year, went to see him this year and it was wonderful. <laughs> what organ is colloquially enough, colloquially, can somebody say colloquially? For colloquially? Me? Yeah. What organ is colloquially known as the voice box? Oh. Matt Lake up. Larynx. Yes. What am I describing? They usually appear in pairs with pair members of opposite magnetic, magnetic polarity. Their number varies according to approximately an 11 year cycle. And although they are at temperatures of roof. Michael. Sunspots. Yes, sunspots. Great uh, answer. What, what else are there an 11 year cycle in space? Uh, this is not a question, this is going to say. It's the great eel bird of regular size in Star Trek the original series, an 11 year mating cycle. Right. Strange but true. Why don't I look at you when I get What element named after a small village on the ship? <laughs> Steve Rose. Strong team. On the shores of Loch Suna, if you've been reading my Facebook pages, in Western Scotland, sits at number 38 in the periodic table. It's dropped What a great answer, Steve. But a lot of good presses in there as well. Take a five. That's it for that round. Well done. I'll give you the scores when you all come back of that particular round. <laughs>